to Bob and Hall Woods in Warwickshire today try and find some bluebells to film, but we've stopped off at Brinklow Castle. It's an ancient monument and is what's known as a, an example of a Mott and Bailey castle. It dates from Norman times. Mott means uh, mound of earth and Bailey is an enclosed courtyard. And Brinklow Castle here had an inner and an outer bailey and the Mott was surrounded by a ditch or moat and that's the village of Brinklow nestling in the trees there. Just see the top of Brinklow Church there and beyond it, Rugby. And this is what the castle would have looked like in Norman times. There's a mart with a watchtower on the top there. And there you can see the inner bailey and the outer bailey. OK, on to Bovenhall. OK, here we are at Bovenhall Wood and Meadows. Uh, hope you enjoyed the little uh, historical detour there. Well, let's have a look, uh, see what we can see here. It's our first time here. Just on the opposite side of the road to the wood now. Uh, there's a meadow and a couple of uh, areas of water. And uh, it's very wet underfoot after a little bit of spring-like weather. We're back to cold and wet now. There are no hides here, but this, this uh, very pleasant uh, viewing screen is going on down there. There's few, uh, quite a few mainly swallows with a few martins mixed in there sand martins and so on skimming across the water we've also heard little grebe but uh, couldn't see it and had brief glimpses of white throat too okay we've just crossed the narrow country lane we're going to head into the woods and try and find some uh, bluebells we can hear woodland birds all around us, but uh, certainly not many on view. Got a nut hatch just above us there, foraging for food in the crevice of the dead tree. I think today is going to be more about flora than fauna. There's uh, gorse on view, cowslip, and these little white flowers, which I think are white campion, but I'm not 100% sure about that. We've also got primrose. And interestingly, these little boxes are put here for the benefit of door mice to give them a bit of support food-wise because they've just been introduced into the wood. Well, uh, these are bluebell plants, but there's no sign of the blue flowers at the moment. But as we walk deeper into the wood, more and more appear in larger and larger patches. These are the English bluebell variety, or to give them their Latin name, Hyacinthoids non scripta. And the UK is home to around half the world's population of these uh, absolutely beautiful uh, flowers. There's nothing more beautiful than a British wood carpeted with these flowers. So I'll leave you with uh, a little bit of music and a wander through this beautiful bluebell wood. I'll see you next time. <laughs>